Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I am going to be tabbing out my NIV Bible that I got from ooh, Walmart. Which is the NIV Zondervan, I think it's called. Yeah, so Zondervan, NIV, Holy Bible. You know, this is the one that I adore. I did end up picking up some Bible study kit. It's a 10-piece, three stylus, which is three fine point, and then the other six is medium point, and then there comes a ruler. So it looks like that, and then there's a ruler right here. So the Bible tabs are going to be white with silver. I know it has brown in here, but I mean the pages are white with black. And then, of course, red in the back. And I didn't realize it has a concordance and a map. I don't know if this one has a concordance. It has notes. So you get, like, take notes. Um, this is going to be my Bible that I use all the time. It has the table of weights. No pages. And again, it was only, like, $12. So I'm not really thinking it would have it but it does have like a bunch of the maps so welcome please subscribe and hit that post notification bell so we're gonna go ahead and open this one up i'm gonna take a little bit of my time with it probably have to pause the video or whatever so here it says the placement Open the first page of the book, Genesis, if placing the Genesis tab. Remove the tab from the sheet and place onto edge of right hand page. Even if the book starts on the left page, ensuring tab can be read when Babel doesn't say Babel. When Bible is closed, lift page and fold tab under along its crease to and secure to back of side page. Repeat process for an additional tabs spacing evenly. Okay, so what I used to do is, and it's saying to do it on the right side. Okay, so this is just the, um, our daily bread. We're gonna remove this for a second. Okay, so table contents. I think it has the table contents. Notes, index, so it has no pages. Uh, glossary, index, and maps. Okay. So it doesn't have the table contents. And it's the preface. Okay, so here's Genesis. So what I think they're talking about is it's on the right side. But technically, the right side would be... The Old Testament. If I were to start it on this side. So that makes no sense. I usually start here and have never had a problem. So let's read it again. Remove tab sheet and place into edge of right hand page. Oh, right hand. Yeah. So this side. Even if it starts, because this is my left hand, this is my right hand. Okay, even if the book starts on the left page, ensure tab can be read when Bible is closed. Okay, makes more sense, Mouse Ready. <laughs> so these are what it looks like. So you have, I'm looking for Genesis. Okay, so here's Genesis, and then it goes into each book. You get a bunch of them. The only thing I don't see is what they were saying about notes and stuff. Here's the New Testament, the Old Testament. So we have the Old Testament. So let's see how we can work this tab. Because you want to grab... Oh, I'm tearing it. Oh my gosh, don't tear it. Okay, so you have to be very careful with it. So this is the Old Testament. 
So the Old Testament, I'm going to put... I should probably use tweezers. Right here. So if you see... If I go in to here, I'm trying to see like how you would close it. Because the other ones were easier than this. No, Matthew's sticking out. Okay. So the Old Testament here. Now keep in mind, once you put this down, that's it. And then take the book. Don't grab the next page with it like I just did. And then fold in. It's going to be hard with the Old Testament because I just messed it up. So I'm going to kind of like do some maneuvering here. And then I want to do a pen test. That's why I'm showing you those pens. Okay. So here we go. So with the Old Testament, it's going to be a little bit messed up. Okay. Due to the fact is I kind of ripped part of the Old Testament. I should probably put that in the back. And there you have it. So there is the Old Testament. So see... What I'm thinking of doing is just trimming this piece. It looks sloppy. So as long as you can see it, that's all that matters. I'm just going to trim this tiny little piece so that it's a little bit better. Okay. So now you want to lay Genesis down. And again, be careful when laying these down. Okay, so you want to take both edges. You want to grab from here. Grab from here. So that's perfect. So when you fold, you're folding in. Okay, so here's the Old Testament. What I do here is in order for it to like keep going the same way, is I go like this, go like this, okay. that's good, lay it down, it's not going to be perfect, it's never going to be perfect, because it's something you're doing. Why is this page not like the page you don't want to play around now? It's like probably so heavy. So you want to check your page number two. Here's page one. Okay. So now fold in and fold. You just want to increase like crease it. So now when I go to look for Genesis, I can see Genesis is right here. <clears throat> so with the book closed, you're only going to see the silver. With the book open, you can actually see your tab. You won't be able to write there, but you'll be able to see your tab. Okay, so the next book is... We're done with Genesis. Genesis is a big book, so the next one is Exodus. Keep in mind, you still, even though it says it's supposed to be here, on the left side, even if it's on the left side, you want to put it on the right side. So Genesis. See, they have the concordance, the glossary, the notes, index, maps. Is it next the uh, no let me not put that there okay so here we go exodus i think once you get through it it's easier 
And if I don't finish, because of course, this is going to take time. You have to go through each Bible. Make sure you're lining it up. Fix the Bible. So you want to go here with it. I think that's a good spot. No, 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 no. I kind of like moved it while I was doing it. Stop moving it. As long as it's like attached to the page. Okay, now we're fine. This New Testament is giving me a hard time. Okay, so we're going to grab this one. And we're going to take this page away. So 72, 73, you want to make sure you have 71. I grab it with my finger. I fold it in its inseam. Okay, so let's fix the book. Fold it in its inseam. I'm trying to show you so you can see a closer view. And if you guys do this differently, let me know. Let's see, it's too small. Oh, you know why? Because the book is not laying flat. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I see it's coming up better. For some reason, I can't grab it. I do want to do a pen test with you. This may be a part one, part two video. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there is Genesis. It's okay if you have spacing like that. Now I'll take it. 71, here's 72. They do have spacing. See, I want to make sure that the page is done correctly and just squeeze so now when you look you have genesis exodus okay let's get the other book where is it at so the next one is leviticus so you're gonna move this one exodus is a pretty good one so Let's see, Leviticus is here. So again, keep in mind, I'm using the split in order to lift. Because if you don't, it tends to tear. Like that first one. Okay. So then, the only part silver is the spine part of it okay so I'm leaving room and I want to make sure I'm just touching the page I think that's good take this oh I touched the other pages okay so that's where you're gonna watch what you're doing so let me get this uh, so 122 is this page and 124 so 123 is this page so what I do is, again, I grab it, I fold it on its seam. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect. It's $4.99. I mean, I would like it to be perfect, but it's not always going to be. And you just want to make sure you have the right page. So when you open your book like this... Except for this New Testament person. Not person, you know what I'm talking about. Is, like, see how crooked it is? It wasn't supposed to be, but Genesis is fine. Exodus is fine. Leviticus. When you flip it this way. Oh, let me bring my Old Testament back. See how close I put it together? But I like it separate like this. 
so that way I could see it. But if you go like this, you could see it this way. So see, you could see Old Testament, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. And then again, let's flip it. It's all together because the book is leveled up. Okay, so let's do our pen test. Because I think you kind of get the idea. I don't want to take too long on this. Okay, so, and then I will do a flip through of how I did it at the end. So we're going to go into the note pages. And we're going to use the last page of the notes. Which is pretty much this one. Okay. We're going to open this up. And of course, it's going to be whatever. You have to try pens in order to make sure they work. This one was five ninety nine. The Bible tabs at Hobby Lobby were four ninety nine. I need to get one more for the concordance. I mean, not the concordance. My she reads truth. Okay, so this is the. I don't know if I'll keep it in here because look at it. It's sticky already. It's just from opening it. Okay, my pretty. We gotta hurry up. Take it out. So it's supposed to be in color. Okay. So we are going to fight with this one, I guess. This is the ruler. It's one to the foreign ruler. It's cute. Okay, so. It is a click. So we're going to do, what's the name of this? Proof Bible Safe No Bleed. Okay. So we're just going to say the Bible Study Kit pens. Oh, I like this kit. So these are the fine point. So we're going to write black. And then we're just going to squiggle. Like that. And you can see shadowing, but no bleed. And I write like heavy. And then just click, 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 blue, now we just gotta, sh and then this is the stylus, so blue, they are starting right away, and again, fine point, and red, now you know I'm always looking for good red. And again, it starts right away. Is it thick? No. But it's nice. Okay, so I don't know these colors. So I'm assuming purple. No, that's probably purple. Let's see. Let's do a squiggly line. Okay, so what I did wrong is I didn't say who it is. Uh, white out. Okay. We do have white out. Let's test the white out. White out writes nice. Okay, so this is pink. So this is the medium point. Okay, so I'm going to tell you off the bat. I don't like the pink. I should have wrote it in black, but I didn't. Okay. It looks like the same tip, but it's not. You can tell the difference in the pen because this one has the stylus. It's bigger. 
and I like the stylus pens better so far. Let's see purple. The pink didn't write like right away. The purple is nice. To me, they kind of write the same. Okay, so the next is orange. Maybe, yeah, orange. See? Orange. So it's something that you might have to work out. But the orange didn't start right away. This has got to be yellow. Okay, yellow is going to need a little bit of help. Yellow is not working. Okay, we'll come back to yellow. Yellow is a terrible pen. <laughs> yellow has always been terrible. Green. Okay, what is going on here? Okay, so the green's starting up. Okay, so the pen did not start up right away, but it did write, and I did like it. Let's try yellow. Yellow is probably trying to start <laughs> yeah not a fan of yellow maybe in a different color and last but not least is the blue so we'll say teal again another one didn't want to start give it that like quick Start up. It's starting to start. Okay. Teal is okay. Once it starts. I'll show you the bleed through. So the ones that really give, like, not bleed, but shadow, all of them shadow. But I write heavy, so that's why it's like that. My best pen is this one. The formula, ink formula. It writes right away. One point, and it's from Dollar Tree. does the same thing but no bleed but usually pens don't bleed it's more well pens do bleed but it's more of a marker highlighter things like that that will bleed but these are the pens for $5.99 you get what you paid for so these are my three favorite is right here the stylus ones the ones that started up fine point um my next favorite would be the teal once it started the green after that one started and the purple which was this one these three um orange is okay if it starts but these three i'm not a fan but these are the ones i kind of like but these are my top three Done this, done this, done this. And then in order of here, it would be switched around like this. That's my least favorite. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will show you the tabs once it's complete. About to toss this because I don't need it. And again, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.